time now for the hot sauce, and we are rocking the red this February in honor of Heart Health Month. Joining us now is, uh, let's see, registered nurse and specialized women's health educator, Virginia Lyons. Thank you so much for joining us today. You know what? I think a lot of people don't realize um, that I, I, I was surprised by this as well. Heart disease, we think about this in men often, it is the number one killer of women in our country. It is the number one killer of women, and women are not aware of it. If you ask them at a seminar or ask them at a gathering, they will raise their hands when you say, what is the number one killer of women and say cancer, breast cancer, and yet heart disease, one out of three American women are developing heart wow. disease. So it is an alarming uh, situation. And we feel at Catholic Health with some of our wonderful services, women care and our cardiac services, that there's no need for this. People, if they would become empowered about mm -hmm. their own health. I always tell people, you are the architect of your own Absolutely. life. And how you um, bring that to the table is how you're going to live your life out either healthy or with a lot of problems. You know, um, heart disease also the number one killer of men in our country, but there are huge differences in the symptoms between men and women. Let's talk about women's health right now. Absolutely. When a woman presents uh, with uh, complaints about heart disease, she often will say vague symptoms, mm -hmm. things that I would never go to the emergency room right. with this because it's not it's not big enough. Doesn't seem like People an emergency. Will send me home. Right. But a man will come in and say, I have crushing elephant feels like it's pressing on my chest. A woman may have very subtle complaints. Mm -hmm. She may complain of backache. She may have nausea. She may have malaise. She may break out in a sweat. She may be short of breath. She may walk into a room and feel completely fatigued as if she had just completed a marathon. And these are classic red flag symptoms okay. to get yourself in and be evaluated. And that's what I often find little seminars, little educational. Mm -hmm programs like we've done in Catholic Health since 1994 wow. bring many many situations to the table that women otherwise may not even discuss with their own personal physician. It's non-threatening. They get one-on-one -on -one service. They have an ability to talk to a nurse and ask them some of the questions that they may be very hesitant right. or maybe even I call them ostriches. We sometimes bury our head in the mm -hmm. sand and forget yeah. that these things should be addressed and but we're so used to putting ourselves on the back burner. Sure, we let we take a lot care of things else. go. Absolutely. Exactly. exactly. Uh, you actually have one of these health seminars coming up. Your health, your heart health seminar, Friday, February 22nd. A great opportunity to get out there if you have questions. It's right there at St. Peter and Paul Church on Main Street in Williamsville. 1 to 2 p.m., uh, not necessarily a long time, but I'm sure it's jam-packed full of information. Absolutely. And as I said, the beauty of it is it's a seminar, it's a PowerPoint, there's question and answer period afterwards, and quite Ironically, I've had people actually come to seminars like that and had one woman actually at one of my seminars that I had to send right over to Kenmore no Mercy kidding. Hospital because she was in the midst of having a heart attack. Well, so thankful for so, you. So, absolutely. So, that little red dress. Yeah, let's see this. I would like to present that to you. Thank you. In we'll honor the, um, of Women in Heart Disease. February, of course, is Heart Month. And we have dedicated ourselves this month with the American Heart Association to do all we can. Go red. Yeah. Be aware. Be proactive. And take time today for a better tomorrow for yourself. I think you're absolutely right, Virginia. Of course, we know a lot about the pink ribbons and now the little red dress as well. Thank you so much for all your work that you do to help women stay Oh, you're stay more safe than welcome. As you can tell, I'm very passionate about what I do. I love what I do. I love working with women, for women, and with Catholic Health and all of our stellar services that we provide women of our community. Well, so thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you so for being much. on Winging It. Thank you very much. Now over much. to you.